You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. Our Titan Medical Center family would like to give a big shout out to all the guys out there that are fathers. You guys are so important to the fabric of your community, your family, and your loved ones. You guys are the protectors and providers of everything that you love. So from us to you, happy Father's Day and enjoy your day. My name is Lisa and I'm here at Titan Medical Center. I'm here to get some blood work done. I've been with them for about seven years and I'm excited because they have helped me. Make sure you guys reach out to Titan Medical Center, get your blood work done and make sure you figure out what's going on with your body. At Titan Medical Center, we provide a wide variety of services like hormone replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss, injectable vitamins and amino acid injectables, relationship bedroom enhancing therapies, detox rejuvenation therapy, blood work, peptide therapies, custom IV and nutrient drip therapies and much more. We service nationwide. For more information about Titan Medical Center or to become a patient, call or text us today at 727-389-3220. What's up guys, John here and I'm with Destiny, hey. who heads up our events, promos, and all that good stuff. And we have a couple great runway fashion shows that are coming up. We've got Tampa Bay Swim Week, presented by Titan Medical Center, and we've got Carson Gore Tour, and maybe a couple other ones down the road. Now we have our own staff of models in-house. We have a great staff and great selection, obviously. But we're bringing so many new fits and so many different designs to these fashion shows that we're looking for maybe just a couple new star-studded people, right? some great people that might shine from the rest. So, if you think you got what it takes and you want to be part of the Titan Medical Center family and see what it's all about, then you need to contact us today. Contact us through the website, titanmedicalcenter.com, or hit us on any of the social media platforms, and I'll have Destiny reach out to you and get you scheduled for your audition. We'll see you at Titan Medical Center headquarters. What's up, guys? John here. I'm with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, everybody. And my awesome son, Peter. Peter. What's going on? <laughs> All right, so today we're doing another tight medical movie review just for you. And today we are reviewing Furosa, Mad Max Saga. George Miller, the director of this, and is the iconic director of so many other films, especially the Mad Max films. So, uh, you know, the cinematography in this film, the action in this film, the character in this film, directly out of what you've seen in Mad Max before previous, not the 80s Mad Max, but the newest version of that. Um, and at that point, you know, it, it had a pretty good story, I thought. Um, you know, Chris Hensworth was the main character or antagonist in this movie, and his prosthetic nose that they had on him, you know, it looked good some, sometimes, but like, whoever did that prosthetic job and they got caught in those angles and the other, other you know, scenes. Could have done better. He could have done better for sure. And it's such a high anticipated movie and a high budget movie, because I'm sure they spent millions and millions of dollars making this movie, right? I mean, when you see some of these, these chase scenes in the movie, and Mad Max is known for this, the chase scenes, right? But it, it, he took it to a whole different level with this, where I'd never seen in any other Mad Max films before, which is really cool. Like, you know, because there's only so many times where you're gonna roll up on a car and they're, they're shooting at it or, or, or doing some, throwing some daggers or whatever the hell is going on there. But um, yeah, so I mean, listen, Mad Max was pretty good. I thought the storyline was pretty good. Um, a lot of action in it, right? A lot of death, for sure. There was some some some, some crazy lots stuff there. Lots of fighting, killing. Yeah, for sure, lots of fighting and killing. So for me, I'm gonna give, uh, I'm gonna give Mad Max now. Listen, I think it could have been better in some parts. So I, I'm giving Mad Max probably about a 3.8. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's worthy of a 4.0, and definitely not a five. 
Um, Wolverine, I think, and Deadpool is going to be uh, reserving for that. So, yeah, reserving a five for Wolverine and Deadpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'll I'm rate gonna, this I'm one a 2.3. A... 2.3. 2.3. I just liked it because a lot of killing. Um, I think I uh, a couple of thoughts that could have it could have ended better, I guess. Could have ended better. Yeah, I didn't like the ending. Could have ended a little bit better. Yeah. You know, and, and there was some some plot holes. Definite plot holes. In a couple of parts we were like. But like I said, overall I think it was pretty good. Ten Give me your rating, kid. Two. Two point oh, close to mine. Is there anything you liked in it? In particular that stuck out to you? You know what though? Listen, Peter stayed awake through the whole movie. This is a huge thing oh, yeah. for Peter. Two hours and twenty five minutes. Could have time. very well fell asleep thirty minutes in, but there was a lot of killing in action, so we're gonna give that a good rating for Peter. Kept his attention. I like it. <laughs> so uh, so you, you got the you got the goods for me, Sharice and Peter. The whole family was here for the family affair tonight, which is awesome. I love it. Um, yeah, so listen, you take your family out and go see it and see what you think, right? Maybe you guys might all like it. Maybe you guys might hate it. Maybe you guys are divided, but that's the best thing. You guys have your own opinion about it. So go check it out. I think you guys will like it. Mad Max, Furiosa. Furiosa, yeah, Mad Max Saga. So you guys see it. So we'll be in that. We'll be back with another Titan Medical Movie Review just for you on the next one. So stay tuned. We'll see you at the movies. Oh yeah, you know what's in this box? A whole bunch of flowers for Sharice for Mother's Day. And I always get them early. I always get them early. You want to know why? Because I want to make sure they show up instead of waiting that day and be like, oh, they never came. Mm -mm. And I have to run out and go, you know, straggle some other flowers together or cut them out of somebody's lawn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking there. I would never do that. Early Mother's Day surprise. Box getting for you. Box. Happy Mother's Day to the most beautiful, smartest, best mommy in the world, ride or die baby. And love you for eternity. That's a good new one. I like right? it. I love that baby. So Up your game. Up your game, guys. John needs a cut. They better sponsor yeah, me. Yeah, right? I want to sponsor you. I want sponsor you. Oh, that's a big gift for you. trying to get pregnant? Are you and your partner trying to conceive that bundle of joy? Are you looking for a fertility protocol? Well, look no further. Titan Medical Center has a variety of different options for you and your partner to take advantage of. Our first one is a follicle stimulating hormone therapy. This is probably our most advanced therapy for fertility for both males and females. And then we also have HCG. This is another fertility protocol that both males and females can utilize to hopefully get you guys pregnant. And last but not least, we do have enclomiphene. And enclomiphene comes in a capsule form, but is probably the lowest end of our fertility protocols. It works for some people, but some people might need our most advanced treatments like HCG or FSH. So if you're looking for fertility protocols and you want to save a little bit of money doing it, Type Medical Center can offer you those. So at that point, look, make sure you guys are good. And if you guys need help, we're here to help you guys. Just contact us today. 727-389-3220. Are you ready to become Titan Strong? Call or text us today at 727-389-3220.
All right, I hear a lot of incredible things about IGF, and that was, I think, if I'm correct, and Mona could back me up on this, that was the first protocol you had me go on. Um, can you tell us some effects, what it does? Sure, sure, sure. So IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor one, and this is IGF-1 LR3, because there were two different therapies out there, IGF-1 and IGF-1 LR3. Now the big difference between the two is, is IGF-1 LR3 has a longer half-life. That means it stays in the body longer, giving you a way better result. Now IGF-1 is great because it's like starting at the starting line and going right to the finish line with nothing in between. So with insulin like growth factor one, you're gonna put in your body and the effects you're gonna get are all the anti-aging effects that you would get from growth hormone. Because when growth hormone goes down and converts in the liver, that's what produces those great effects for the anti-aging. Whether it's building lean muscle mass, whether it's losing weight and boosting the metabolism, right? Or it's helping you um, just stay younger because it's helping with sleep patterns, it's helping with hair, skin, nails, and all the other great things that go along with anti-aging. I've talked about this a lot and I just want to refresh. And you just said hair, skin, lean muscle mass. I, I like that you say that because that means something different than when I say building muscle. It, it is, it retains the muscle that you have. And so that means, I think, if you women are out there hearing that, it retains that muscle as you age for women and men. And that's a huge, I think just an intelligent um, side effect of what this does. Absolutely, I mean, it's, it's a great therapy for people to utilize. And like I said, whether you want to put on that lean body mass, because people think about, oh, oh, I want bigger muscle. Well, that means they think of somebody that's, you know, maybe a bodybuilder type or Arnold Schwarzenegger, everybody's it. Maybe Michael Hearn's size. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's really about, you know, filling out the body nicely, like nice definition of muscle growing muscle in there and uh, not getting maybe huge, but um, getting to where your genetics are looking really well all the way around on the outside. I think that it took me right back when you talked about that too, what I saw from the, the 70s of Muscle Beach and how the women and men were out there working out and doing these handstands on top of each other, but the women and men looked healthy, athletic, and appealing where it wasn't too much muscle. I think there's a there's a balance for my personal choice is I like uh, a, a, a superhero physique that looks like you can move, um, be healthy, and is uh, appealing to look at. Absolutely, I think that's the big thing: quality of life, improving health, and looking your best outside and inside the bedroom too, as well. I think that's what it's all about. And I think that a lot of people will relate with that, and that's what they want. IGF, and again, this is something that you can get on. Uh, it's a protocol over at Titan Medical. And again, going back, this is the first thing I started. Titan, more than a medical center, it's a lifestyle. For more information on how to become a patient, call or text us today at 727-389-3220. And let Titan Medical Center help you feel look and perform your very best. Don't accept an alternative. Don't accept a substitute. Come to the real deal. Titan Medical Center is here for you to make you feel better, look better, and perform better every single day. So call or text us to get started on your new quality of life. So we're down here in St. Pete Beach, enjoying Memorial Day weekend. Me, my beautiful wife here, Sharice. How you doing? Hey, everybody. Yeah. Are you enjoying already? Well, we're only here five minutes, but we used to come to the Don all the time. So it just brings back a lot of really, really cool memories. Yeah, so nice. And beautiful weather like this, good music. We know it has good food. Oh, yeah. So maybe yeah. some drinks good here people, or there. Good yeah. servers. Yeah. You know, that was a crazy thing. You know, we came back here because we used to come here all the time. And the last two years we've been uh, in hiatus because of work, and then we had our house and the whole nine. So at that point we came back today. We, you know, we just say, you know, who's going to be working here still? And uh, when we came, it was just crazy because a lot of the staff recognized us right away. 
They're like, where have you guys been? What are you guys doing? They set us up. The cheers. It was like a family environment. Yeah, it's it like really cool. cheers. I like going to places where it's like cheers, where everybody knows your name. You know, so, so many years, these people still remember us, which is awesome. And uh, got to give a big shout out to them too, because they make all this work, right? All those servers, all those people that are busting, running food and all that good stuff. So big shout out to them too as well. So yeah, so enjoying the sun, feeling like Superman out here, soaking up the rays. So let me go back to getting a, a suntan. I got my son over there just hanging out too, just chilling. You know, so. Typical teenager. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go enjoy. So of course it wouldn't be uh, a great weekend away if we couldn't order some awesome food from the Don. And at that point, I'm sticking to my grilled chicken breast. I don't know what she was gonna get. What are you getting? Uh, nothing yucky. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what comes. All right, guys, you guys got to see a little inside of what we do on a Memorial Day vacation here. Fun, sun, eating, enjoying each other's company, making more memories, right? That's what it's all about, enjoying the day because you don't know if you got tomorrow. It's not promised, so at that point, enjoy it with your family. Remember, if it's Memorial Day you're celebrating, remember, it's for a great thing. It's for a great cause, too, as well, because those uh, soldiers that gave those lives gave us our freedoms to enjoy today. So remember that too as well. So enjoy the weekend. I hope you guys are having a great weekend, being active with your families, just like our family. Yep. Eat good, feel good, perform better. So that's what the Titan Lifestyle is all about. So I hope you guys are enjoying, live it, love it, and be free, because that's what our country's all about. See you next year. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and this little beautiful wife over here. Wifey. My beautiful wife. <laughs> I'm <not> your wife. <laughs> are bringing you guys great tips, tricks, information, and things that will hopefully ignite, excite, and take your relationship to all new, healthy, positive levels, right? That's what it's all about. And don't worry. If you're not in a relationship, you guys can store this information for later so you guys can apply it to the new relationship that you'll hopefully get in. And hopefully that will be success because of all the knowledge you've gained from watching our Cupid's Corners. Yep. And uh, you know, this, this is stuff that me and Sharice over our 16 years in our relationship have you know been through some of these trials and tribulations and learned from some of these different things. Or we've learned these from some of our different friends or, or phys physically seen these things out and about so it's just something that we wanted to share with you guys so i do feel like though i do feel like most of the time to some degree not always because sometimes we talk about like way off the wall things that would never apply to us because we don't go through it thank god but most of the time it is somewhat relevant to kind of like what's going on in our lives or maybe something recent that might have happened or something of that nature i feel like it's always been that way yeah. you know that's why i like to keep up with the cupid's yeah. corner so keep up with john's brain because <laughs> then i know like when he talks to you guys and that's what he's really thinking Ooh, really <laughs> huh? oh really huh <laughs> and he gets it out you know so i like i like having the cupid's corner oh okay it's more yeah. like a therapy session for me is what you're saying now okay <laughs> <laughs> i kid whatever is going to help you guys i'm good for it yeah. so this week you know obviously you know there's a lot of different things we could be talking about but it's about staying positive and staying together through not just the good times, but the bad times. Because when the good times happen, there's no problem, no conflict, no issue. Everybody is peachy and keen, and, uh, and we are just good to go. 
But when the bad times happen, this is when you see a lot of people's true colors where things come out that you might not have realized. And at that point, it could be hurtful, uh, depressing, saddening, and overall just a letdown, right? Or a mm. failure in a relationship. So let's get into it. I mean, basically for us last night, me and Shreza went through a lot of trials and tribulations. A lot. Right? And everything, we're, we're not perfect. And in the, in the beginning of the relationship, we had to work through a lot of different things. <laughs> Right? A lot. I, I mean, you know, there was Quite things. Quite a bit. There was things like, you know, like Sharice would get upset just, with me. I just brought it up to him she like two nights ago. So there's a couple of different things. Why did I, I get upset with you though? Well, you know, when we'd, we'd meet new people or, or she would meet some of my new friends sometimes. Uh -huh. Or I would just be walking by him and say hello. She'd be uh -huh. like, you didn't introduce me. Yeah. Why didn't you introduce me? Right? So. What am I just like some side piece? I'm like. No, oh, I'm important. Okay. And I have like, a name. I just walked by and I said hello. So it wasn't even <laughs> it like. It was a big I deal. I stopped and like had a conversation and she's standing <laughs> Huge behind me. Huge deal. Huge deal. So, you know, that's one thing, right? And making your, making your parent, uh, your, your partner a priority, right? And, and in these situations. And if you secure them in that way, they won't be insecure in other ways, I think. Yeah. So it's all about the support and, and all about doing the right thing. So that was just one thing I could say. That was fine. Um, you know, for us, like last night, like we lost our dog. We lost our dog to cancer. Um, it's been a bad battle. And last night she was just going through it and she was just so, so, so much in pain, I guess, that, that we had to, you know, put her down. Um, it was really hard on a family, really close to our dogs. You know, there are, there are babies too. And it's just really tough. So, I mean, we come together in, in times of, of need, right? Uh, and that's what you guys should do. And, and this can happen in a number of different ways. And a lot of these different ways might not be a death, but it could be like a financial situation. Yeah, right? that's a big one. And these financial situations usually cause a lot of conflict. That's one of one of the top reasons for divorce or splits in, in relationships. And it comes down to money. And it's either one partner doesn't like the way you're spending money or you guys just don't have a lot of money. You guys are arguing. Or you guys can't agree where the money's going or right. what's more important. Right, you right. Know? So this is something that, you know, you guys should come together with, right? Instead of, you guys are on the same team. You guys are not on opposite teams. So if you're fighting each other, have conflict with each other, you guys aren't going to find a good resolution. And I always tell Sharice, and I've said this, you know, I don't want to hear complain. I want to hear resolutions, right? I hate when you say Everybody that. can complain, right? So you can complain, oh, I didn't get this. This didn't happen for me to do this. What's the resolution going to be? And you know when he tells me that? You know what I tell him? Then come up with the resolution for me. But yeah, so and usually I, he does. I will come up with the resolution. It's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like right? it. Because you have to think about it, right? There's only so much you're going to talk about a problem. And it's just going to dwell and dwell and dwell. Find a resolution. Start kicking away or, or chipping away at that resolution and get it get it done. It right? <laughs> so, you know, that's what it's all about. You know, and, and listen, the good times, like I said, the good times is when you're making great memories. But the bad times can be good memories too. Because let's say you guys get through bad financial situations or some other big problem, right? Um, that time of hurt or that time that you guys are down and you guys get through it, after that, that's what makes you guys grow stronger, stronger yep. right? It's a true statement. And, and this goes back to the old sayings, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And yeah. It's so true. That's right? true, yeah. Whatever you deal with, whether it's an injury, a relationship, a business deal, whatever it is, you know, sometimes, the bad things happen. No, this this year has been tough on our family, right? So, you know, like John's dad and a lot of people out there know this already. I mean, I did my little thing on Facebook or whatever, so most people know, but John's dad was diagnosed with colon cancer. So we've been battling that all year. He started chemo. That's tough on the household, obviously, because we're all wanting to support him, make sure everything's okay. Yeah. The dog, you know, she's been battling cancer, a double cancer in the household is just Taking crazy. Taking chemo, yeah. Taking chemo, same exact thing. So they were kind of doing it together. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, you know, Peter came down with a shoulder injury and, you know, had a growth, growth plate fracture. So he couldn't play baseball. So, you know, while he's down, you know, one of the things that would get him to be able to release was sports or baseball. He couldn't even do that. Yeah. So it's like, you know, all these different things are going on. And this is like, all these things don't stop like our business that's still running. Right. It doesn't stop us having to get on and do a Cupid's Corner. Yep. It doesn't stop us from having John go on his Titan talk and smile in front of everybody and make sure it's all good. It doesn't stop us from going home and making sure we still have a relationship because I mean, after the business, and then you have this going on and that going on and this going on. I'm honestly, guys, this might be the first year where it's like 8 o'clock rolls around or 9 o'clock rolls around. Me and John look at each other. I'm like, I love you. Good night. 
<laughs> but we know, like, you know, there's nothing wrong with us, yeah. right? And we're at least, like, this is where that communication comes into play, right? Because, yeah. like, what if you are too tired to yeah. be intimate or yeah. whatever? Maybe yeah. you're just not mentally there. Like, yeah. you're emotionally drained. Maybe you're physically drained. Maybe you're going through something. This is where that comes into play to communicate with one another yeah. so you know what's going on. Because yeah. if you don't ask, A, or you don't tell, yeah. B, then how are they supposed to know? True. You know what I mean? True. You don't have a crystal ball. If we had a crystal ball, I sure as heck wouldn't be sitting here. But I don't have a crystal ball. So that's why I'm sitting here right now telling you that you also don't have a crystal ball. So you need to make sure that you're asking your significant other what's going on. Hey, you know, and it, sometimes they may not they may not even tell you like what's going on right then and there. Mm -hmm. So you might need to kind of like you might need to chip at that a little bit, right? So you gotta wait till the right moment, right? The last thing you wanna do is, you know, John turns on his, uh, let's say he's watching, I don't know, like some Star Wars uh, series or something, and he turns on the episode and like five minutes after it starts, I'm like, so tell me about your feelings. This is not the time, okay? <laughs> this is not the time. You guys gotta time yeah, it. Yeah, let me right. watch my Star Wars in peace. <laughs> It's serious though, you know, this is not the time. You gotta yeah. make the you gotta make sure it's timed right. Yeah. Don't do it at crazy times in the day. Don't do it when you're just coming down on something. You gotta make sure the setting's right and then talk, you know, talk about it. So I mean that's important because some people just don't know the right time either. Yeah. You know, back in the day I used to do this to John all the time. I would wait, and it was only because I knew he would be chilling, you know, like kind of relax. And then I would come at him all right kinds. Before I'm about to go to sleep. All kinds of sideways too, because it was something I was pissed about. It wasn't like let me talk to you about your feelings. No, we weren't talking about feelings. I was like let me talk to you about my feelings at eleven o'clock at night, and it's right before you go to sleep, and we are talking about it now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but see, this is what I'm trying to say though, is that you like you live you learn we're sharing our trials and tribulations with you yeah. i'm sharing with you what worked for me right. what worked for him what worked for us and we're still together 16 years later yeah. so something's working and we work together every day yeah so there's not there's definitely not a lot of couples that do that and we're, i'm not Even dead. if you have a successful relationship or marriage or whatever it may be most of those people do not work together all day long I'm not gonna so make and for us you know it just it works right it's pretty easy it's pretty simple to do uh, we're generally, uh, you know, in agreement with most things, I would say. Yeah. There's some different things that we might disagree about, but we talk about it and we work it out, whatever it is. Yeah. So that's what it's all about, right? Working with your partner, communication is key, and making sure that you are with your partner and support your partner, not just through the good times, but the bad times. Mm -hmm. So that's the Cupid's Corner for you guys this week. Happy Father's Day Happy to all Father's the fathers Day. out there. We love you guys. Happy Father's Day. You guys are a big a part of, of society and the fabric of our community. So don't take that for disarray. Make sure it's, it's Men's Health Month too. So make sure you're getting checked up. A lot of guys don't think they need to go to the doctor because they haven't been sick. There's nothing wrong. Go get checked up. Be preventative you about things. You, you never know. If you catch things in the beginning, it might be a lot easier to eradicate in the end. So, or just feeling better. So if you guys need help with there, you guys can call or text Titan Medical Center, 727-389-3220. And if not, just check out our Cupid's Corner every week. You guys can watch it here live on ABC at 11 a.m. You guys can DVR it to watch it later. Or if you just miss it all together or a different state, don't worry. You guys can check it out on all our social media platforms and YouTube. Go over there, Titan Medical Center. Hit that subscribe button in the all notifications bell so you guys are locked in and ready to watch all our great content we got coming for you guys. So we'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner at 11 a.m. with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice, here. See you then. Bye.